Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 11. But King Shalomah loved many strange women, together with Eth, the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moavim, Ammonim, Edomim, Sidonim, and Chitim, of the nations concerning which Yahuwah said unto the children of Yashadael, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away at your heart after their Elohim. Shalomah clave unto these in love. And he had seven hundred women, princesses, and three hundred concubine. And his women turned away at his heart. For it came to pass, when Shalomah was old, that his women turned away at his heart after other Elohim. And his heart was not perfect with Yahuwah Eloheyu, as was the heart of David his father. For Shalomah went after Ashtoreth, the Elohim of the Sidonim, and after Malcam, the abomination of the Ammonim. And Shamalah did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and went not fully after Yahuwah, as did David his father. Then did Shalomah build a high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Yerushalayim, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And likewise did he for all his strange women, which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their Elohim. And Yahuwah was angry with Shalomah, because his heart was turned from Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, which had appeared unto him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other Elohim. But he did not guard that at which Yahuwah commanded. Wherefore Yahuwah said unto Shalomah, For as much as this is done of you, and you have not guarded my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded you, I will surely rend at the kingdom from you, and will give it to your servant. Notwithstanding in your days, I will not do it for David, for your father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of your son. Howbeit, I will not rend away at all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to your son for David, my servant's sake, and for Yerushalayim's sake, which I have chosen. And Yahuwah stirred up an adversary unto Shalomah, Eth Hadad the Edomi. He was of the king's seed in Edom. For it came to pass, when David was in Eth Edom, and Yoav, the captain of the host, was gone up to bury Eth the slain, after he had smitten every male in Edom. For six months did Yoav remain there with all Yashareel until he had cut off every male in Edom, that Hadad fled, he and certain Edomim of his father's servants with him, to go into Mitzrayim, Hadad being yet a little child. And they arose out of Midian and came to Paran, and they took men with them out of Paran, and they came to Mitzrayim unto Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim, which gave him a house, and appointed him victuals, and gave him land. And Hadad found great favor in the sight of Pharaoh, so that he gave him to be his woman, at the sister of his own woman, the sister of Tachpinechs, the queen. And the sister of Tachpinechs bore him at Genubath, his son, whom Tach Pen es weaned in Pharaoh's house, and Jenubath was in Pharaoh's household among the sons of Pharaoh. And when Hadad heard in Mitzrayim 
that David slept with his fathers, and that Yoav, the captain of the host, was dead, Hadad said to Pharaoh, Let me depart, that I may go to my own country. Then Pharaoh said unto him, But what have you lacked with me, that, behold, you seek to go to your own country? And he answered, Nothing, howbeit let me go in any wise. And Elohim stirred him up another adversary, Eth Rezon, the son of Eliada, which fled from his lord, Hadadezer, king of Sova. And he gathered men unto him, and became captain over a band, when David slew them of Soav, rather Sova. And they went to Damascus, and dwelt therein, and reigned in Damascus. And he was an adversary to Yashadael all the days of Shalomah, beside Eth the mischief that Hadad did. And he abhorred Yashadael and reigned over Aram. And Yarovam, the son of Nevat and Aphrathi, of Serada, Shalomah's servant, whose mother's name was Serah, a widow woman, even he lifted up his hand against the king. And this was the cause that he lifted up his hand against the king. Shalomah built Eth Milo and repaired Eth the breaches of the city of David, his father. And the man Yarov Am was a mighty man of valor. And Shalomah, seeing Eth the young man, that he was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Yosef. And it came to pass at that time when Yorovam went out of Yerushalayim, that the prophet Aki Yahu, the Shiloni, found him in the way, and he had clad himself with a new garment, and they too were alone in the field. And Ahiyahu caught the new garment that was on him, and rent it in twelve pieces. And he said to Yarovam, Take you ten pieces, for thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yashadael. Behold, I will rend Eth the kingdom out of the hand of Shalomah, and will give Eth ten tribes to you. But... He shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake, and for Yerushalayim's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Yashar'el. Because that they have forsaken me and have worshipped Ashtoreth, the Elohim of the Sidonim, Chemosh, the Elohim of the Moavim, and Malcham, the Elohim of the children of Amon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in my eyes, and to guard my statutes and my judgments, as did David his father. Howbeit, I will not take Eth the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life, for David my servant's sake, whom I chose, because... He guarded my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and will give it unto you, eth even ten tribes. And unto his son will I give one tribe, that David my servant may have a light always before me in Yerushalayim the city which I have chosen me to put my name there, and I will take you, and you shall reign according to all that your soul desires, and shall be king over Yashadael. And it shall be, if you will hearken unto Eth all that I command you, and will walk in my ways, and do that is right in my sight, to guard my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant did, that I will be with you, and build you a sure house, as I built for David, and will give Yashadael unto you. And I will for this afflict Eth the seed of David, but 
not forever. Shaloma sought therefore to kill Yarovam, and Yarovam arose and fled into Mitzrayim unto Shishach, king of Mitzrayim, and was in Mitzrayim until the death of Shaloma. And the rest of the acts of Shaloma and all that he did and his wisdom, are they not written in the Sefer of the acts of Shaloma? And the time that Shaloma reigned in Yerushalayim over all Yashadael was forty years. And Shaloma slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David, his father. And Rechav Am, his son, reigned in his stead.